how's it going? John McLennan here, I hope you're doing fantastic and welcome to this video lesson. I'm here with GuitarControl.com today and we're doing the Eagles Greatest Hits 1971 to 1975. We're doing a video lesson on every single song and this is track number 10, The Best of My Love. It's a beautiful, really mellow, nice acoustic song. I'm going to show you how to play it on one guitar from the beginning of the song to the end. So be sure to subscribe so you can get the updates on future videos and also don't forget to click the link below so you can get the tab and the chord chart that I've put together. It takes you through the whole song. Alright, well let's zoom in and get started. The guitar parts on the recording are definitely a couple guitars layered and I also went on YouTube and checked out a live version and there's four guys strumming along just to create this one part. So what I've done is arranged a way of playing it of how I would play it with one acoustic guitar going through the whole song. And this is what I've come up with. Let me play it for you. So that would be the intro. Now, I'm starting on a C chord. And, and you can hear sometimes that G in the bass. But just for simplicity, I find it's actually easier if I just play C. And what I do is I take these two fingers off. So it's really a one finger C, which is a C major 9 chord. And then I put them right on after the first strum. So one and two and three and four. Now this is, um, let me actually just remove that hammer on part and let me show you the right hand. So one and two and three and four and. So I do one and, and then on beat two, I kind of just hit the lower strings or make almost more of a percussive sound like you know, it's not like a full clean strum, it's just like a little sound there. And then, so one and two, and, let's see, one and two, and three, yeah, and then you hit the and of two, one and two, and then you don't play on beat three, and you play and four and. So my hand is constantly, again, just going back and forth, but I'm just going to go, uh, first I'll do it without the hammer on, one and starting by playing those notes open and then adding them on on the and of the first beat. One, and two, and three, and four. So that's the general idea. It's really a beautiful song, beautiful strumming pattern, and, uh, and, four, and that's going to go twice. Now, where I found this easier was when I just move this, move everything except for your first finger, down one string. So your third finger and your second finger go down. And I've got this chord, which is like an F major 7, but it actually has a D in the bass from the bass player. So it ends up being like a D minor 9, this chord. So um, start here and you do the same thing. You start with these fingers off, and then you put them on, right on the and of one. one and two. Okay, so I've got two times on the C chord, C major 9 to C, and then t uh, two times on the D minor 9, here, down one string. So let's try it together slowly. One, two, and three, and four, and... Yeah, and 
I opted out to, to again, like I said, to take this, the G out of the bass. Because then I would have to go to this. And that sounds a little small. Uh, here I'm using six strings, and then I go to four. It, it, I, I like to use maybe these four strings here and then these four strings here and it'll sound more consistent. So if I'm doing this on one guitar. So that goes twice for the intro. Then you're gonna do it two more times for the verse. there. So the pre-chorus, again, I keep that same strumming pattern. One, two, three, and there I give a whole note on the, on the F over G. So the chords there are E minor, open, second, second, open, 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 to D minor, starting from the fourth string, open, second, third, first, then E minor, again. Then I do this F over G, which is a common Eagles chord. You can play it with your thumb, like I do, or you can put one finger on each note, like this, which is another uh, good fingering. So the frets here are three, three, two, one, one. And that you just let ring out. So the whole pre-chorus goes like this. Okay, and then we're into verse 2. So what that was was just like the verse in the intro, except for I'm doing half the amount of time on the chords, so I just do one C, and then one D minor 9 back to 1C, and then you hear this walk down, which would be taking your third finger, and I'm going to try to just play three strings here, and that's a little baby G chord, so open, open, third, and then you walk this melody down, three, three, second string, and then you're back to the verse. So that slowly is one and two and three and four and... And I'm trying to strum three strings, and then just play one note. Three strings, one note. Three strings, one note. So it just continues that pattern. Here are two strings. So... Uh, So let me rewind, I'll just play through the chorus one time, so... Walk down... And then we're into verse 2 there. Good job so far! Stay focused, and don't forget to click the link below so you can get the tab that goes along with this video lesson. Alright, let's get into the B section. Here we go. Verse 2 is exactly the same as verse 1. We play the C major 9, and 
then we add our two fingers. Twice. Then to D minor 9. Then that goes again. Then we're into pre-chorus two, and if you're having a hard time following along, don't forget to click below and get the tab. I've got all these sections written out, so this is page two of the tab. It's pre-chorus two, and it's slightly different from the first pre-chorus. It sounds like this. Okay, so what I did for the second pre-chorus is I went E minor to D minor, E minor to D minor, then you arpeggiate a G chord like this. So here's my typical Eagles G chord, it's 3rd fret, and then open, 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 3rd fret, and that's literally the notes that you hit. You go 1 and 2 and 3. So, chorus 2, which is the same as chorus 1. Then after that you do this post-chorus, which is the whoa oh part, and really it's just the same as the intro. like this. Okay, so what I did for the bridge there, I had a couple new chords. It goes to F minor, which is 1st fret, 3rd uh, fret, 3rd fret, 1st fret, 1st fret, 1st fret. It's just an F minor bar chord. I do it with my thumb, though. And then to C, here you could do C over G if you want. That's a nice transition. Then to F minor. F with a G in the bass, or you could think D minor over G. Uh, this would be 3rd fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, 1st fret, 3rd fret. And then I just let go of those middle notes to get a G. Then you go back and you play the verse again, you play pre-chorus 2 again, you do the and it repeats and fades on just those two chords. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this lesson helps you out and inspires you, makes you want to keep learning more about the guitar. It's really such an amazing instrument. We're going to leave some more videos and links up here that you can check out. Like I said, we're doing the whole series, The Eagles, Their Greatest Hits, 1971 to 1975. So keep a lookout. We've got a lesson on every single song. And uh, you can also check out guitarcontrol.com and check out some of the courses that are available.
All right, well, I'm John McLennan. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video lesson.